This is the Pound Aussie and this is a trend continuation trade though I am actually only playing for a retest of the lows but I'm using a Gartley pattern as an entry for this particular trade. Um, so you can see currently 13 pips up. I've actually waited for um, the, the completion of the pattern to be tested and see if we get a hold but basically this is the pattern here looking like that and why am I using it for trend continuation well let's just delete everything off and let's go ahead and do the higher time frame analysis and take a look at this so here on the daily time frame if I put a structure level on here this is the very lows you can see that price has come into uh, that area we put in an indecision candle and currently we're trading just above it so there is no reason here for me to play for trend continuation to the downside since we haven't yet violated that structure level although I do believe at some point we will come down to this level but right now we are holding this zone and this is a minor level of structure so this is why I'm only playing for a retest um, we do also have uh, the market came down we saw a pullback, came down, we saw a pullback, we came down into this zone and if we put a uh, extension on here you can see the market has come into a 127 and we're looking at holding that area so once again only looking for a retest here not looking for any type of extension um, here on the 240 nothing to be honest with you let's go and look at this on the 60 just delete everything off so this is how it looks on the 60 so uh, I won't draw all of them out but we had a move lower outside return new structure low outside return new structure low outside return new structure low and then looking for the outside return now we do have a couple of things here first of all we have a complex pullback so we have an AB equals CD pattern uh, which is a mini move within the bigger overall trend and you can see that we've come up to retest that zone if we put a fib on you can see that we have now hit um, our Gartley completion and do we have any fibs we have a 1414 inversion 127 extension not not overly important for me i look at the 1618 so you can see then that we've actually come into that zone and this is why i would be looking for a retest of the lows um, i will be quite aggressive here with the stop loss as if we start to make our way down um, one thing i am noticing is that we have not closed below see this wick here we haven't closed below that level so this could actually be a head and shoulders so as we approach that level up we'll be a little bit more aggressive with my stop loss uh, if we just go to the 15 minute time frame uh, I did say that I waited for price to come up and test my entry and we did do that so price came up to this red candle here uh, I actually waited and then it rallied up to here and then um, I actually got short as we had that final push up there so if I just bring back on the orders uh, 15 16 pips up let's go ahead here and draw out what the risk is on this trade 51 pips of risk now this is the area where I need to get stops above uh, and an ATR above the high here is 27 so that would put me at uh, 7401 but we do have that 7400 psychological number so I'm 10 pips above that and then if we go to the 240 and you can look at where I've got my uh, my targets which is a retest of the lows which is actually 15 pips above that psychological number 17200 uh, but again if we do get to that um, to that C leg of the pattern I will be more aggressive uh, with my stop loss potentially moving to break even there and we're back for an update on this trade uh, this is the 15 minute time frame and as you can see we are in profit of 55 pips uh, I have no real just looking actually do I have a way of reducing down my risk on this trade um, 
Not really. What we did have here is if you look, we had a test, a test. We tried to push up again and then a break below this level. Um, it's not a clearly defined double top or head and shoulders for me, so I'm not able to move my stop at this stage. Uh, what I'll do though, as we approach this C leg here, I think I did note it up, yeah. I'll be moving to break even or at least reducing down the risk on this trade if we can get down to that level. And we're back for the final update on this trade and unfortunately it did lose. Uh, you can see we saw a nice reaction from this pattern. We came down to this level. We actually got up, I think it was around 80 or 90 pips, about 90 pips. Um, if you was playing just normal targets here then you would have hit both targets on that on that pattern and um, it does look as now uh, look at now as though it was a head and shoulders uh, looking like this and we've now had the break above close above we've actually now coming to this outside return but no lo longer looking for trend continuation here and can't play the head and shoulders because it's already played out uh, what a damn shame uh, you know 90 pips up uh, just over halfway to targets and then lost for 51.